Spyro Air Calibration At the start of every new day, clicking on Calibration will open the Daily Preparation screen. This simply prompts the user to check the chemical absorber and to check that the cylinders are turned on. Each of the cylinder regulators should be set to an output pressure of 50 psi. The master pressure valve is located on the top of the cylinder. The far left-hand dial shows the output pressure and the adjustment is made by turning the regulator control. We recommend that at the end of the day, the master valve only should be closed, leaving the output pressure valve in its current position. There are two chemicals used in the absorber column. The blue crystals are dryerite, which absorbs water vapor. This will likely need changing every day. The green granules are soda lime, which absorbs carbon dioxide. This chemical will likely only need changing twice per week. Care should be used when handling the chemicals. If you come into contact with soda lime, be careful to wash your hands. When filling the absorber, leave a quarter inch gap at the top of the tube so that the rubber gasket can seal properly. Calibration of flow and volume is achieved in two steps. First is the Calibrate Flow Volume option, and the second is Calibrate Pneumotac. The reason for this is that the routine needs to cover the two valve configurations used in spirometry and diffusion testing. Both calibration sequences are identical in operation. This example will detail flow volume calibration. From the main menu, go to Calibration and then select Flow Volume. The screen will instruct the user to connect the 3 liter syringe. Be sure to push the filter onto the valve securely. When the screen displays a flow volume axis and yellow target areas, stroke the syringe from one end to the other. The goal is to create full 3 liter strokes with peaks falling in each of the flow ranges. Once each flow range has been covered, press spacebar to end. The results should display past ATS. If not, repeat the process. During gas calibration, the large inspirit bag is first emptied, then flushed and emptied again before gas is added ready to calibrate the gas analyzer. The routine checks the integrity of the inspirit bag and will warn if a leak is detected. The routine is fully automated, and once started, there is nothing more to do. If a leak is detected, the most likely causes are a leak in the inspirit bag, overfilling of the chemical absorber, or an incorrect setting of the cylinder pressure. The carbon monoxide and helium traces start at zero on the scale and climb to 100% of the expected response shown by a yellow range. Oxygen will either rise or fall depending upon the cylinder value, but at the conclusion should fall into the yellow range area. 